The other, the other play, and it goes back to the ghost screen, um, that I think is really difficult to guard, and you've been the ball handler in this case, is the inverted pick and roll. Mm -hmm. So Giannis, fucking Jokic now, Embiid now, all these guys, they take the weakest defender, yep. they take a shooter, whatever it may be, and they go set an on-ball screen for the big. For the big. Last night in the Knicks game, Draymond had it at the top, and Steph was in the paint to go set the, the high pick, to go set this inverted pick and roll. Now, Steph has a number of options here. He can slip out. He can set the pick. Yep. They can go back to a dribble yep. handoff if he passes Steph. Like, their two-man dance is really hard. Mm -hmm. They decided to top lock Steph so he couldn't get to the screen, and Steph, Steph just, screened him. Steph screened him into yeah. Draymond's guy. Draymond got a wide-open dunk. Yeah. That is an insanely difficult mm -hmm. action to guard. Fucking last year in the Western Conference Finals, uh, I can't remember which game it was, but it was in the fourth quarter. They ran that three times with Murray as the screener, Jokic as the ball handler. On the right, right wing. Right wing, right, right wing. in front of the bench. Yep, right in front of the bench. Yep. How would you guard that? There's, uh, there's a couple ways you can... How do you guard it and how do you stop it is two different things. Depending on the ball handler and his shooting ability... If he's not a great shooter, or numbers-wise, he hasn't yeah. shot the ball well, then the guard that's guarding the screener, just, we call it a smack. Yeah. You stay body on body with the screener, and the big that's guarding the ball, X4, X5, whatever, goes too removed. So he goes not only under the screener, he goes under his uh, uh, teammate as well, if the big is not a great shooter. If, a, if the big has it going and he's shooting the well, i.e., you know, it could be, you know, Joel, it could be Przingis, it could be Joker, where he might be shooting the well, then the guard can get out and give a hard-ass hedge, and the, the big that's guarding the ball goes one remove. So he goes underneath his player, in between his player and the offensive player. If that doesn't work, then you have to switch and then fire. And that's what, with, with Joker, that's what makes their team insanely to guard because when you switch and you fire, he can make every single pass. And fire means double from the top. All right, so two things to this. Um, so in the first scenario, this, I'm, and again, this is why I'm, I'm asking you because yeah, sure. I want to tell you now why it's hard. And you know this, I'm not telling you, I'm telling the audience. The first scenario, which you described, which is a non-shooter, yep. i.e. Giannis, mm -hmm. i.e. Ben Simmons. Okay, so I'm setting an inverted, we called it 12, and we would get in, sometimes we get yep. into 12 rub rifle, which is then I would slip out, Ben would hit me, I'd swing it, immediately go to chase action with Joel in the right yeah, corner. Sure. I either get a shot or a pocket pass with Joel, right? But in a normal 12 rub with Ben, if the defense was all the way back. He what, has a runway. Not only that, I'm just going to go you get gotta, a dribble handoff yep. and get a wide-open shot. Yeah. So if you want to play off of Joel yeah, no, with Maxi, mm -hmm. and Maxi wants to— Maxi can just go get the ball and, and shoot yeah. a ball jumper yep. at any point in time, right? The other reason I think this is so hard, because I, I, I took a lot of pride in my screening, big guys are terrible at navigating screens. For sure. So in the second scenario, when mm -hmm. you're talking about going third-man removed, that sounds great in theory. Right, right, right. The problem is... I mean, maybe I was just speaking from no, a... No, 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 no. I have Anthony Davis, so... I know, I, I, yeah. I know. <laughs> who's a, who's a I hybrid, know. but yes, you're I absolutely know. right. That's that's the other you're part absolutely of this. Right. Is like, and by the way, they let guards. They just do. Yeah, they didn't. I can hold. Yeah, yeah, hold. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's not used to like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Shooting the gap. No, you're so right. Like, you're you right. go run like a normal pick and a normal high pick and roll where I'm going to screen the five man first. You know, I go down, screen the five man. I can come back up mm -hmm. into Spain action, or I can go out to the corner. Like I would sit there. I sometimes be on the screen for four seconds. Yeah, for sure. They don't. They just don't know what to do, and then all of a sudden they're. You know, chucking me in the throat or pushing yeah. off, and I get an offense. And that's out. what makes it even more dynamic because then when you have a guy like Giannis and Ben when he was in his groove, you know, and Joel and now Jokic, they have the ability to, you know, obviously Giannis is like the the best at it. And today he has the ability to have the defense go one way and then the guard will flip screen yes. it. 
So now the guard that's guarding Bear X2, Bear's out screen, of Bear's course, the screen. Bear's out screen. <laughs> He'll be on this side getting ready to show or blitz or hedge, and now they flip the screen, and when he crosses over, there's nobody over there. It's, you don't, and then once Giannis get, gets to the, to, the, to the launching pad, you know, it's over with. He's going to dunk you and the ball in the rim. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching Mind the Game podcast. If you like it, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you.